Hey Legionnaires and welcome back. We're here with part four of our Holy Roman Empire campaign for 1212 AD. And in the last part, as you saw, we were in a bit of a sticky position. We uh, did run into a few rebellions. We had Brandenburg break away. Saxony broke away twice from us. We like brought them back into the fold and then they broke away again. Um, and yeah, we obviously are still at war with Bavaria, with Austria, with... Uh, L uh, Lorraine with Trier and with um, this uh, this league up here, Umstahl Boon League, however you say, Umstahl Boon League. We're also at war with uh, Bohemia as well, another one that broke away. So the uh, plan is in this episode to try and go for Brandenburg next, it's literally on our doorstep. The next one on the list, and we need to probably go up with both stacks because uh, obviously Bohemia is right next door and they have a uh, decent army as well. I want to bring Prague obviously into the fold as well, they have a huge... Uh, city and it's very popular uh, like very uh, prosperous 1400 is making a turn uh, but we now have a new resource we've gained grain uh, in Wittenberg that's one of the few things I just clicked on while we were uh, waiting we also have obviously trespassers we have a uh, edict and stuff uh, and victory in uh, Wittenberg so yeah we're doing quite well we're doing okay I could do with oh we could actually get some uh, pikes and something like that I don't know whether I'd want them obviously they're pretty Low missile block and stuff like that. That's an interesting uh, thing I could buy. Obviously, here we could buy actually a lot. This could we could make this a full stack. I'm kind of tempted, but I need stuff that would finish in a turn time. Well, I'll say that this army actually needs about two turns to replenish, so I wouldn't be opposed to possibly putting in some more units. Though I obviously my economy is not great, so it would have to be pretty low tier stuff. I might put the shock in. These urban axe militia are pretty cheap, but pretty effective. Um, uh, but yeah, I guess my population must be pretty Soldier low, which is why I'm not able to replenish. Uh, Wittenberg. Oh, actually, no. I'm not going to buy them because I know I can in Wittenberg repair that, which obviously spends most of my money, but that's obviously going to bring in a lot more money once it's repaired. So, that's what we're going to do, and that's where we're going to end this turn. Oh, no, we need a provincial governor. Saxony needs a governor. I see. Otto. Otto could be my governor. Yes, why not? Let's do that. Um, also, someone was saying, which is not a bad idea. Uh, Saxon, uh, you need that. All right. Um, you can have... You could have growth and wealth. Um, your unhappiness is not bad. I'm just going to bring down... Um, yeah, I'm going to just do growth for now. You should be able to sort yourself out. I'm destroying a few of these things so we can uh, improve. I don't need training fields, really. Well, I say that. I say I don't need that. That will actually allow me to recruit a lot of stuff here as well. I could do with that. I would be more interested in having a militia quarters, but I'm not actually opposed to having the training field. So we'll keep that for now. Um, but yeah, someone was also saying that uh, I don't want to be on edicts, just want to be on this. That I should marry my uh, like daughters off to other nobles, bring like them into the imperial family, which I'm not actually opposed to. I kind of like, because I can't get them to marry anyone else. I'm going to marry Ermgard here, see if she can get married off to Folkard, bring uh, like him into the family. Uh, Heinrich, I'm still trying to get this poor man a marriage at this point. I don't think I could marry him. No. Oh, that's a shame. Can't go in breeding like the uh, Habsburgs did. That's a real shame. Um, let's see if there is anyone in the world that would uh, make peace or like want treaties with me. That doesn't look like there is. Uh, I'm not surprised. I Also, someone said you should go on crusade. I'm going to do it. I'm going to go on crusade um, because there's six turns of the crusade left. So there you go, join the crusade. I get rid of my communication doing that. And now people should start to like me. Join crusade, so papal favor has massively increased. So it's now a war weariness is at 0%. Papal standing is at 4. So that's a lot better. Uh, and then I can cr recruit crusaders. And then I can recruit a load of good stuff. Uh, so it's a bit too expensive. But I may recruit some of these crusaders. Um, can they then only fight crusaders? Um... However, they are limited in number. Oh, no. Okay. Do not replenish. What does it say? Do not replenish until the next crusade. Okay. So, they, yeah. They're like a one-time thing. If they get pre-beaten pre up, they die. I don't know if I'm going to buy from those units. Um, but they are certainly useful to have. And do they just take a turn to recruit? Yeah, I don't know. Might just take a turn to recruit. I'll just kind of get them there and then. Oh, I just get them there and then. Wow. Um, oh, I got some Templars. I didn't mean to get these Templars, but we got some Templars in this army. Um, <laughs> there you go. You just get them. I was just doing up for the uh, interest in like the culture. Uh, it looks like we've got some now. Um, but yeah, if you're enjoying seeing uh, this uh, this 
Holy Roman Empire campaign and would like to see some more anyway. Um, as we continue to battle against all these various rebelling uh, nobles, then do remember to leave a like, subscribe if you're new around here, and a comment to show your support. And, and uh, yeah, the support for like these uh, this, these two campaigns I'm doing currently, this one in Navarre, being immense, guys, is really, really is, is appreciated. And keep it up as, like, as much as possible. It really, really does help. Someone's raiding my lands. I don't really appreciate it. This guy's actually replenishing troops, I just realized. I might have to kill these guys. Certainly kill this one. What, whoever this is here. They are going down. This might be Danish rebels or something. But hopefully, because now I'm sort of my excommunication, some people might want to do some stuff with me. I'm going on crusade. Oh, Ubstal. Uh, yeah. Oh, I forgot that they had no army there. I could have actually gone for them next. They, they had no army defending their city. That might not have been a bad choice to go for next. Start a fire. Where have they just started a fire? Okay, mission issued to get a victorious crusade. Um, I will decree. There you go. I can decree that. Who is? Who are you? You are Danish pretenders. You are just raiding my land. I just want to get rid of you. You are all the Danish. I'm just going to get rid of you. A nice, easy, aggressive. I don't really care if these, obviously, like... Oh, yeah, they look like... like look at that. The Templars died instantly. Um, that's kind of fine. I'm not really bothered. I didn't do that just for the interest to see what happens. So the Templars have got murdered pretty much instantly. Um, that's a shame. Uh, and this army here won't replenish for some reason. Why will you not replenish? Ready for orders. Uh, I presume they'll, maybe the unhappiness is too low. I'm going to put it into, like, put that Ready army into uh, Wittenberg then for now. And I'm going to put this one into Frankfurt. Oh, obviously they cross over and they annoy each other. Frankfurt, who's getting burnt? Oh, you're getting burnt. Well, they started a fire somewhere. Hmm. Training grounds. I'm not really too bothered. They can just leave it there. Uh, and then, obviously, we've got replenishment. Got integrity. And I got... Uh, yeah, noble units come down. Minus one could be very useful. Yeah, for some reason, this army won't replenish. Why will you not replenish? Insufficient manpower. Okay, well, it should replenish now. Because it is in a region of sufficient manpower. There is actually men here. Yeah, here there is none me no men because I've been destroying the city of Wittenberg so much. Oh, they are actually replenishing the, uh, the garrison currently. So that'll be why. So yeah, hopefully that should change itself up around now. And I'm going to uh, obviously get ready for the invasion of Brandenburg. May start next turn. I need to move this priest over to just kind of like spy for me. Have a look. So he can do that next turn, actually. He should be able to see next turn how many uh, how many men we have to fight. You have an unassigned skill. Okay, brilliant. You can have public order up, and you can also have uh, that one up. There you go. You can have tr uh, Thinker. And thinker, I'm pretty sure, brings down the uh, upkeep it costs for an empire to be built or to be upkept, upkeeped. Stralsund, we have to remember, also has the Danish armies just sitting outside it. It doesn't seem to move, though. It doesn't seem like it can move. Brandenburg's army, or just has an army just there, chilling. I don't know whether it can then go on and do stuff. I'm not really sure. The priest's doing stuff. Goddamn priest better stop doing that. And they Trier's brought a stack over. Well, we may have a battle on our hands. Uh, actually, no, this army that I've got here... Ah, this is annoying, because that army I've got is pretty beaten up. It should replenish in time, but if Trier just... Puts an army there and then puts it into garrison. That's fine. It's going to take me a few more turns anyway just to see what's going on. These priests are very annoying because they're just going to start destroying my cities. I need to try and destroy as many of these armies as possible because they have all the priests. Or as many of these uh, rebels, I should say. Uh, the pretenders are back. You're seriously going to attack that? Okay. What a strange move. Just decided to attack. Die. Oh, there you go. I've I hope the Danish like me a bit more for that. I lost my urban ma axe militia, but that's fine. I can replace them with better ones. Ones with sharper axes. I don't know. Uh, yeah, they encourage to send. I don't really care. You can do this. Setting fires is the annoying thing. Setting fires is something that I have to then repair. Like here. Look at this. This is so annoying. I'm supposed to destroy that anyway. Uh, and I won't do that. Hmm. Oh, I can't even repair that one. See, that's going to be an annoying thing. And I bet I can't manipulate agent yet. It's going to cost too much. Because I've spent it all on repairing. Ready for battle. 
this army replenishment's okay. Replenishment, yeah, this army's still got insufficient manpower due to lack of manpower in this forces region. So what region am I going to have to go into that will have manpower? This one? This one's got manpower. Has this region just not got a lot? It's got like a manpower? Uh, encourage. Hmm. Interesting. At your command. Is Frankfurt's... Frankfurt's got a decent garrison. I don't know why it would... Commander, Are you replenishing? You're replenishing in that region. We hunger for battle. Uh, I'm going to put you up to that, and then also, what's integrity looking like? It's changed per turn at the moment, it's good. I could just merge some of these units, might be quicker. I have no money either, which is not helpful. Uh, the priest is still, needs to move on. Um, I could have probably had him bribing stuff, that may have helped, who knows. I need, yeah, the fields to get destroyed, because I want to put something in that's going to be economic and help the economy, like actually try and revive itself here in Wittenberg. Heinrich is uh, he's governor, he needs to go down here, and then he goes taxes. We need the taxes in Frankfurt up, because right now we need every coin we can get. But if we do start to kill some of these armies off, that would be very much appreciated. It's going to so descend in Wittenberg. Well, that's fine. I just need, I just don't want you using priests and stuff. There's so, agents are so annoying, the AI uses them so much. And they always seem to be effective. They never seem to do, like, poorly. Incense Crusaders. <laughs> I like that Norway's got the Incense Crusaders. They're not even on Crusade, but they're incensed. They're excited. Um. Oh, I need to check to see whether now that I'm excommun not excommunicated, whether people would like to make treaties with me. Whether it's marriages. I certainly could do getting Brabant back on side. So... Let's just power through all these mass, like all these factions. The Crime Incarnate. That's a new faction. Yeah, see, they just, they seem to always succeed. Opportune failure. Good. He failed on that one. And I succeeded in my uh, thing as Emperor, I've just realized. So that's great. I forgot I was even at war. Well, not in war, but someone was, uh, like, yeah, did not like me. Uh, closed panel. Let's just, no, I don't, don't want that. I want diplomacy. Is any of these people now possibly like I welcome me? You on behalf of the Range people marriage, and offer a daughter, low, okay. What about if I take one of the daughters off your hand? What if I gave you all the money I had? Probably unlikely. No, I didn't think so. Let's just see. Moderate for non-aggression. Could be done. No, I don't think you'd take it. I hope that some of these people would start to like me just because of not going on crusade. France is actually starting to improve Welcome, its relation with the trade. I trust you bring words. I could do with the trade. The honor of your people in our eyes. I will give you every penny I have if I have to trade with you, France. Uh, marriage alliance or marriage proposal? No, I would take the other one off your hands. I take your wife, uh, not the wife, your child. That sounds awful. I'll just steal your child for a marriage that she probably won't agree to. Uh, Bologna is improving. Most of these places are improving massively because I'm no longer uh, like excommunicated. The day's greetings to you. I should have done this like straight away. Attention. It would have been so useful. But like someone said, I should have uh, like done it earlier. Some thank God that someone said it. It's starting to. Slowly improve on the uh, political, like, Welcome, on the diplomatic scale, friends. scale of things, like, I people are starting to like me. But I am not in a good spot. Um, yeah, no one really likes me well enough to do a marriage yet, which is fine. Commander. We have about, uh, it's like, so much coming in a turn. If I put you in there, we you still don't battle. replenish. What is going on with this army? If someone can tell me what the issue is with this, insufficient manpower. This army is just kind of just sitting here just useless now. If I can't do anything with it. I could recruit stuff. Uh, that's not the worst thing in the world I could do. I don't know what I could recruit if I was in this side of the border. Nothing. Um, Wittenberg. Hmm. This is just that they have so much XP. Like, look at all this XP that I have. If I go into Breunschvig. I'm going to go into Breunschvig. And if I can't recruit anything in, like, March. replenish in there. I'm going to just move you back into Frankfurt. Because you can recruit, seem to replenish wherever you are. Is, yeah, is it just a, like a thing with... It might just be a thing with this army. And it doesn't say when it's going to disappear. 
Very frustrating. Oh, I have dismounted Imperial Ritter. Oh, that's a very expensive unit. It's a very good unit. They are really, really good. I would like to get some. And I wish I could. I'm going to combine these spears and I'm just going to then buy some new spears. They're very... It's just annoying. Um, Wittenberg. Oh, actually. Hmm. Can I build anything here? I can build a sanitation thing. And fields. Again, all I can buy is fields. Uh, go. I can't even do anything here. Just go into Braunschweig for now, I guess. Stay out of being sniped by anyone. Uh, and then you At need to see whether there's an army here in Brandenburg. There is not an army here in Brandenburg. We could go and siege this down. We need to do this within this turn, like within this episode. So I need to get this army somehow. Yeah, it's actually recruiting here. So it's just, so it just for some reason in these two regions, there's no manpower. I guess that we have been at war a lot in these two regions. Brandenburg needs to get brought into the fold pretty soon for another region. Stralsund probably also is pretty safe. It's just been sieged a few times, but it's actually probably quite nice. Uh, I'm gonna end the turn. Hopefully in Breunschweig next turn I can build that uh, build some industry and then I can start recruiting troops. I could just take the two armies as they are. Oh my god, this priest. Just stop doing these things. Sowing descent is just so frustrating. It doesn't even do anything. It just does like a little bit of damage to my public order. I'll take it. You know what will do more damage to you? When tree is burning to the ground. And that's a threat I am willing to go through with. And Bohemia's brought an army across. So frustrating. So frustrating to find this war. You do. I'm sure you guys are, are understanding. It's you kind of take like. One step forward like we did there taking Wittenberg last episode and then you kind of take two steps back because like my army won't re replenish and all sorts of other stuff that's just very annoying. Oh, there's like a Jewish faction? Yeah, look at that. Succeed on all three. I mean, I know they're getting better at these spies by the second, but I mean, this is silly. Um, Watermill helps with industry. I'm going to put that in. And I can't re rebuild any of these because I've just spent all my money on a water mill, but... Where's this army? This is a pretty decent army. Uh, and I can't spend any money on infantry or anything like that because we spent it all on the water mill. I can recruit more crusaders, though. They cost a lot to upkeep, though. Yeah, it's whether I want to do that. I don't know if I really do. Let's see if we've just improved any better. I mean, that's going minus five now. For my people's part, welcome. I kind of want a marriage with one of you. I just want to get rid of these people in my court. They're eating all my food. Welcome. Look at everyone else, and they're like, and the HRE just loves each other, and then they like click on me. They're like, "We hate you. Just die already." <laughs> So annoying. Right, so Brandenburg has no army there. And I now know that... Uh, can I persuade you to... Can I manipulate you? Yeah, but it would cost a lot. And I would actually succeed quite quickly. This is a pretty decent... It's a pretty decent priest, but like that. I'm going to put you back into Wittenberg. I'm going to have you... Can I have you deployed there? there? Yes, I can. I Inspire the population. Be. Make them really happy. Um... I could do it getting a spy or something, you can just go around killing, but I can't also afford that. That's like when you have a really good economy. You can just use agents really effectively and all the time. I don't have a good economy. Don't really have an economy. If we take Brandenburg though, that might help. Trier has just gone deep into my lands, as has... Right, we need to stop one of these armies before they uh, get too close. It looks like they're going to try and siege Wittenberg. Oh, that's fine. I'm happy to try and take one of the armies out. See if we can scare off the other in time. Let's see whether either of, either of these armies have... Uh, I'm going to try and actually... Oh, peace. Much blood has been spilt. I suggest that we agree terms hmm. to staunch the flow on both sides. I want money. I want money off you if you're going to have peace. Yeah, I'll take a thousand off you. Brandenburg, you can go home. That does mean this army might be able to get out. This Danish army. We'll see. I probably shouldn't have done that. Succeed. Look, they just succeed on every single one of those. So frustrating. I can't 
Who's the one doing it? It's a spy or something, isn't it, that's doing it? This guy's upgraded. Uh, I want you to persuade. And I also want you to be able to... Cunning, I guess. Agent action cost. Zeal. Hmm. Descent, I guess. I'll put up just in case I ever want to do it. Can I manipulate you? I can. 67% chance. This old man won't succeed in me. Uh, I don't know what that really does. Can oh, it, all it does is just mo stop him from moving. Oh, that's very useful. Uh, 16. 16 against my 13 and a 7. And then there's this army here. It's another 16. Hmm. It could be done. Could be done. This general's a heavy shock infantry. Oh, that's annoying. He's very expensive as well. They haven't got much cav, by the looks of it. Which I have a lot of cav. And I can't afford just to wait one turn just to build some rubbish. Uh, okay. Gonna move up. Gonna move up. Can I get around the other side? I can get around the side. I might actually just stay around Wittenberg and see whether they, what their next move is then. Ready for orders. Advance. I, I, yeah, I won't attack. I will stand around uh, Wittenberg and I will see what you do. If you want to attack me, that's fine. I actually, and yeah, let's build some more infantry. Let's build those Urban Axe Militia I wanted again. Bring them back. Bring back the Urban Axe Militia, I say. Otto, you've got some stuff that he's doing. Okay, uh, you are a governor. You could do with authority. That's always a good start. You could then do with probably hostile agent success. Yeah, why not? Uh, and then let's have Great Hell. Why not? And then you can have Thinker and Taxes. We need always need more money. Always need more money. More Taxes. And then Governor as well. There you go. That helps you out. And Strausson is a little bit safer. If, how, uh, if touch wood, Strausson is not now attacked by the Danes. Because Brandenburg's army's been freed up there. I don't know. They probably should be able to just go around it anyway. These goddamn agents are going to be the death of me. Like, just die already. You stupid agent. Finally, they go back into Trier. I think he failed. He, he wouldn't be able to move if he could succeed, I would imagine. Actually, no, you can. You can definitely move if you can succeed. Hmm. Neither side attacked. They'd rather stay entrenched. And since I'm recruiting two more units, I'll attack next turn. Well, like, a, when we get to the end of this end turn. Oh, Bavaria is debating bringing an army forward then change its mind. We don't have to go for Brandenburg anymore. Opportune failure. Did they all succeed? I think they did. Oh, did, did we actually succeed in taking a few of the Crusaders? Oh, mission aboard, I think. Papal favor increased. Mission succeeded. You have pleased his holiness in his task. Oh, sweet. Failed crusade, though. That's not so good. We're at papal standing uh, five, which is good. Uh, peace negotiated with all of the, uh, the Ayubis and such like. Well, that's a good start. Uh, now, marriage. These people aren't getting any younger. So we need to really get them married off. Otto is also a thing and needs a marriage. Uh, who can I get you married to? No one in this. Oh, could you marry? <laughs> could you marry Otto? I feel like there's enough difference there. Um, right, this is where we have to go and strike Trier. Let's put this army into the field. Put it about there. This army can help. He runs away like a coward. And then we go and chase him down. In tr and then we get Trier off the battlefield. Or just off the campaign map, hopefully. I'm going to order us all this. It's a big battle. I know I should fight it. But I, I just kind of got other things I want to get on with and doing. Like getting rid of Bohemia next. I want to try and just develop on the campaign map. I know we want to see battles. Replenish. This army should now die if I could just go and run it down here. Ready for battle. Can I run it down? No, you have no more... Movement speed. On you move. could though. We hunger for battle. What's the army looking like? That's oh, pretty weak. We hunger for battle. Yeah. Okay. There you go. Dead. There you go. Dead. 
off the map. Hopefully Trey now will take a long time to rebuild an army. At your and thinks twice about it. Thinks Ready twice about marching battle. all the way into my lands. Uh, you can move there. You can also nearly get out of Wittenberg. I'm going to move up there, see whether... Bohemia is going to have to put it under siege, whatever happens. That's fine. I don't mind them putting it under siege. Can I rebuild all this stuff? No, it's going to take forever. Hopefully they should just rebuild in time, if given the chance. Construction cost minus three. I could do with that. I'm going to go down that. Because it's taking. It's costing a lot to build stuff, and I don't really have the money to do so. Campaign movement. Put that up, and then also probably integrity of force. I mean, zeal's also not the worst thing in the world to have. Now, my emperor, he can have. I mean, battle movement speed, commanded force. Yeah, I guess you can have that, and you can also have zeal. I'm gonna go with mix up a few things, have some different stuff. Uh, Broinschwig's actually had a population surplus. Well, that's nice. Can't do anything with it. We've got no money. Uh, for any of these. But, uh, I mean, next turn we could possibly build some of these. I'd like to get the silver deposit. Though it does bring in corruption, actually. Mm. It's 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 got a little silver lining there to bring it in. in. But we'll see. I might get it. I mean, I'd like to go for... See, if Bohemia decides to uh, fight me, I'm then going to just go straight down. I'm going to take up Prague. That is the plan. Yep, you died, Hesso. You died. You shouldn't have come into my lands, you fool. I also could just go straight for Trier. They have no army at the moment, but um, Lorraine is kind of still guarding them. I s I'm trying to go for isolated states first. Okay, Lorraine are going to dare fa face me. Okay, fall back. And he's going to chase the next one? No, he's not. Okay. What a fool. Okay, Danish, I don't like that. Don't like you moving stuff. Reminds me that you're active. Reminds me you're active. But, uh, we hopefully can deal with some... Oh, you are kidding me. So we're fighting here, are we? We're fighting here. Very well, Upstal Boon. Or however you say your name. Upstal Boon League. We fight you here. These guys are all going to be really tired, my men are, as well. This is not ideal. Um, god damn it. <laughs> just, just god damn it. Um... Right, the plan is um, to somehow win this one. Uh, they've got a lot of pikes. So if I can kill their general and that cavalry unit off pretty easily, which they do send forward their cavalry very, very easily in this game, and I can use shock infantry to win. And if I just don't engage any of their other stuff, unless I charge it with cavalry, I just need to kill their cavalry and I should be okay. Oh, it's going to be close. It's going to be a painful one for this army. But we could then march on Groningen instead. It's, yeah. I haven't made up my mind, like, where do I want to go next. It really depends on literally everything. Like, it's a turn-by-turn -turn survival at the moment. Good old Wilhelm, you can stay on the left flank. Take the left, get some shock infantry and some shock infantry. And that's how we go. That's how we deal with this fight. And now we're just going to wait on them because they've got to attack us. They have to attack us. These, uh, apparently these, these, uh, pikes, these, I don't know how you say this, connect? Shenek? Probably Shenek or something like that. Uh, are not very good apparently. They have low, t low threat, but I don't think they're going to be low threat when they put those pikes down. I'm going to have to try and gun them down with crossbows. And again, I'm going to have to try and kill my the opponent's crossbows and cavalry first and general. If I mean, if I kill the general, um, then we should be okay. I kind of want to just prolong the skirmish mode as long as possible as well. So he's just eager to bring his mounted sergeants forward. Eager. I'm going to just turn the cavalry inwards a little bit. With the shock infantry. Just in case they... Tr it's Mounted Sergeant's well. It's not even good cavalry. Like, my, uh... My shot cab should rip them to shreds. If they start to... Alright, here's the time. Let's slow this down now. You need to start shooting on these guys. Yeah, I thought they'd do this. You can fall back. 
General. The enemy is attacking our general. General, fall back. Come on, get back, you fool. It's not that high ground. Shoot these urban axe militia if to pieces would be really nice. Uh, their cavalry, they're not actually being aggressive with. That's fine. I mean, it kind of goes out of the way of my plan that I had in place. Um, but let's see. We might be aggressive if this uh, unit of... Uh, yeah, they're going to just carry on and shoot my general. Here we go. This is what we're going to do then. We're going to have to charge down that crossbow. Uh, let's see, cowards. Cowards. No, we don't. Ah, uh, here they go. Yes, we baited in the sergeants. Baited in the sergeants. Come on, you fools. Come on. Come on. You de I dare you. Dare you. Dare you. It's a risk what I'm playing here. Oh, this general's gonna come flying forward. He's not, is he? He's not. He is. Charge the flank of them. And then get out of there. Oh no, stop, stop going forward. Uh, no, actually no, that's not a move that I wanna do. That's not a move I want to do. That's a move I want to do, though. Right, here we go. Here goes all hell. Just hit loose. We need the archers. Where are you? To start shooting in here. Uh, actually, shoot them. We need to kill this general as well. Oh, this could be a hard one. Could be a hard one. It's the pikes that's the issue. It's the pikes that are going to be the issue, I feel. Uh, we need to kill that cavalry. I need to get my uh, crossbows back in the game. Get my crossbows back in the game. Oh, cavalry breaking? What? No, you don't. This dude's got charged by a general. This dude's got charged by a general. Oh, you actually won that fight. You absolute beauties. Crossbows, you absolute beauties. Um, shoot all of these pikes in the back. Shoot these pikes in the back. General, you just got to hold. Um, pop that on them. My cab broke. Just fine. If I can kill their general, that is all that matters. All that is required. I think they'll chain round. Come on, come on, come on. Cab's getting gunned down a little bit, though. It's not feeling so good. Shoot these goddamn. You won the first fight. How do you lose this one, hey? How do you lose this one? Kill this cavalry, then. Just kill this general. Oh, I don't know. Maybe it was a little bit too aggressive. My cab's rallied. My cab is not rallied. Um, is rallied. <laughs> My cab's rallied. Come on. You fools. Uh, cab needs to get out. My gen needs to get out. That general is going to get murdered otherwise. Yeah, rally their general. You go and kill them. Get out. Get out. Get out. Come on. Get out, you fool. Get out, you fool. Kill their general and we chain around them. Well, I hope anyway. Can you go on skirmish mode, please? I just need to keep you alive. Keep them occupied. The men are broken. I'm running for Come on. Their I don't know if we're going to win this, but if we don't, then that's annoying. It's going to be the first defeat that we have in this game. Which, I mean, I'm not surprised. This is a much larger force. Come on, you stupid sergeants. Let's die there. I can't co chase on those crossbows in time. That general's looking like it's rowing fully. Uh, it's fine. Carry on into them. Carry on to them. We're going to make them bleed. We're going to make them bleed for all their units. At least. Uh, yeah, sweet. Charge on them. They should break instantly. They should break instantly, peasants. The generals return. Ping pong off them. Ping into the next one, general. Our generals died? What? He's just fighting some peasants. Oh no, that's just frustrating as hell. And I can't get... If I've been able to shoot that general, if I've been able to bait him in and shoot him... Oh well, that's annoying. I think this is Wilhelm. He's like a, just a random courtier I have. Very annoying. Uh, I can give this to one of my uh, relatives. I can give like Otto or Heinrich or something like that. Command. If this army even survives, that's the thing. The army's gonna survive. He has fear as well. That's a really good ability. That's a shame. Men have given up and are 
Uh, don't go in skirmish mode. You might as well just fight. Might as well fight. We're going to die. These guys are going to die. So, yeah, that's unfortunate. First loss is going to be against the Upstal Boon, who we've not had to fight yet. I'm going to have to build up in some sort of an army really quickly. Uh, and, yeah. That's annoying. End the battle. And uh, we'll see. We lost 500 men. Yeah, I don't think we'll get any of these back. Maybe this crossbow. Maybe this cav. But he might follow up and finish me off, which if he does, then... Uh, yeah, that's that's an army dead. Um, which is annoying, because that's going to... Like, Bohemian now could make a strike on me. I'm going to have to play defense for the next few turns while I rebuild an army. So, yeah, we're going to be possibly leaving this episode on a bit of a rough... Uh, point. Yeah, we left, got, got out with some units. And here comes Bavaria. They're going to try and siege down Frankfurt. No? Yep, they did. They just siege in the suburbs. Okay, right, here we go. We've got uh, a few people available. I would like uh, this guy, Edmund, because he can replenish quickly, which is what we're going to need. War weariness increased. Yep, not surprised because we lost our battle. What happens when you uh, lose a battle? War weariness goes up. You go into Braunschweig, that's where you need to go. You're going to have to rebuild some stuff. You have literally no money to spend, though, on anything. Braunschweig, I'm going to build myself a water mill as well. Again, helps with... Uh, yeah, and Frankfurt's under siege, so no wonder it's uh, unhappy and we have no money coming in. Wittenberg has a decent garrison. Might be able to stop Bohemia. I could put down Lubstahl League. This army, how long are you going to hold? Two turns till you run out of supplies. That's not good. You're going to move up to Frankfurt. You're going to be safe behind Frankfurt. Hopefully they... Uh, um, yeah, we can replenish here. Sweet. Hopefully they, I move some armies on. Uh, and that's all we can do. We're going to have to end the turn unless we can do enough diplomacy quickly. I could do with... I don't know. For you honest welcome. No, I don't think you say yes. This Pope's been an absolute bitch. Um, Bavaria, you want peace? Speak if you must. Upstahl Boon. I don't think any of these people want Do peace. Oh, hi. They actually would have peace. Uh, offer. Oh, no. I would demand. Sorry. I'm demanding. <laughs> Somehow I've lost the battle and still going to demand money out of them. Uh, yep. Yeah, there we go. I've got peace with Upstahl Boon. I don't really Be care. Welcome. Anything else? Uh, and speak for my people range of marriage. Can today. I? No. Trier, would you want peace? And I'll be one you of your armies. Welcome. Yep. But that That's fine. Uh, demand. If you waste my time. Hi. Wow. Okay. Hi. Wow. They really just want peace. An offer can I go for more? Can I? Put, I can put in like two thousand. Can I? Can type in. Now, Forget it until you can do that. Hi. Yep. We'll take that two thousand off your hands. Uh, I will definitely Come be putting then, in something a little speak. bit better then. Do you want a marriage? Will consider what I no. Hear. Didn't think so. Austria, one piece. Come then. No. Lorraine, one piece. Welcome, but expect Moderate. Yeah, they'll take peace. Sweet. And then I'll just deal with Bohemian. Speak your terms. Yeah, okay. Then I'll do the final. Right, there we go. Just uh, reduce the, re the rebels to a couple of the factions. Uh, down to Munich. Uh, down to these three, four. Well, there's actually three factions down here. So that's pretty good. Uh, Bavaria's got no, like, foot to stand on anymore. I can now build some sort of a better uh, building here as well. I'm going to put in that silver deposit I wanted. And I'm going to be able to build some troops here as well. Uh, I know these guys are expensive. Hopefully, with the money that I'm rebuilding from... I'm going to have to rebuild Frankfurt. I will be able to build some better stuff. So, for now, I'm just going to put in... Now I'm going to put in some Imperial Ritter because I like them. And I want some. I need better sergeants as well. I'll put these two in for now. They can do their bit. I need also, obviously, more archers in this army. Uh, sergeant crossbows would be great, but I'm going to need the peasants. The peasant crossbows do, do, like, enough for now. And we're going to end the turn. End the turn there, really. Um, I want Prague. Prague is not getting away. I might take Vienna as well off their hands. Like, off... Austria's now I have to deplete half the armies. I don't have to defend in like multiple different directions. It's all south and uh, to the east now. Austria's coming up for a, a round. They want they fancy their chances. That's fair enough. They are not going to get a chance. And if any of them rebel again, which is fair enough, they, uh, they are more than welcome to do so. 
I will put them into the ground. I just need a bit of a break against some of them. Bavaria didn't fancy their chances. Oh, but Poland do. God damn it, Poland. You cowards, you have to attack when I'm not there. Uh, Straslo, uh, block promotion. Yeah. Ready for order. That's annoying. Is this, that's very annoying. Uh, let's repair. Can I repair anything else? No. Large city gets repaired first, though. Uh, and then everyone declared war against all sorts of people. Upshall leagues declared war against Norway, as has Trier. Frankfurt's no longer under siege. Ready for battle. At the moment. Uh, one more turn. How long is Stralsund going to be able to hold out? Five turns. It's garrison also equally pretty beaten up. This is a pretty big army, though. This might require my attention. Commander. I'm going to go north. March. Uh, actually, can I build anything here for Advance. one turn? Yes, there's an army of Austria in the south, but Ready that's going to take a little orders. while to decide where it wants to go. Uh, I could build more crossbows. I don't really need them, but I could buy them. Um, I mean, this is actually going to take a few more. That's going to take a turn or so just to do stuff. I'm Ready okay. If you've got 15, 6, then the garrison, we should be okay. So I'm going to end the turn again. I'm probably going to be a little bit longer episode because I am uh, dealing with a lot of stuff. But yeah, we're just going to... I'm quite enjoying it. I hope you guys are as well. I'm. This is going to be a bit of a longer one, but um, hopefully we can deal with all this stuff. Bohemia's going to come in from Frankfurt. Frankfurt's just had a hard time. Oh dear, the Danes are falling back with their army. Luckily that it's not going towards Stralsund. Possibly because Poland's sieging it out now. But finally the Danes thought, you know what? We've been stuck here for 20 turns. We're going to move on now. Like, that army could have been used. They probably could have taken Stralsund. There was points where I probably couldn't have held it. Bavaria fancy round two as well. Just because I moved the army back. Well. Heinrichs died as well. Oh, that's a shame. Um, so I'm going to need to obviously replace... Who's, which one of my Heinrichs was that? I don't even know if it was mine. Oh, yeah. It's Wilhelm here's deceased. Oh, it's my brother died. And my other brother died. That's a real shame. Uh, I could do with administrator. You are really good for tax. So Westphalia, there we go. You're sorted. Ready for battle. Um, the army here could do with moving up. Ready you can see that the money has gone down ridiculously. I could rebuild stuff here, and I'm tempted to, but... Actually, no, I can't anyway. <laughs> Look, I could be tempted to do this, but I can't anyway, so why would we worry about it? And then we're going to send up our armies to go and deal with the Poles this turn. Yes, we're going to like not be able to replenish all our stuff, but that's fine. Um, we're actually kind of liked by these guys here. People. Can we arrange a marriage? Welcome. Demand a wife. Yes, Speak, I want friend, your wife. And honor us all with uh, and this is going to cost me a lot. Oh no, it's going to cost you a lot, sir. But I want your money. And your wife. How much we... Wow, you're not going to give me a lot for it. Moderate. There you go. Wow, that's very upsetting. You only give me 300 for your wife. As requested. Non-aggression. They demand 200 for my money back. No, I want that. There you go. How rude of them. Welcome. Um, but at least we got like non-aggression. We're starting to like get a bit better off with these guys. Oh yeah, they're going to 200. Wow. Um, so we have like, yeah, you're now married to a 50-year-old. That's fine. As a 32-year-old, you weren't going to do much in the way anyway. You're a Castellan. That helps with uh, recruit force because you are a governor. I don't know why you're in Castellan then. You should be in Baron of the Exchequer. Um, and then Ermgard, you're also a governor. You also should be in Baron of the Exchequer. Otto is a governor. He should be like a provost. Uh, and there we go. I'm going to probably end the uh, end the episode here, guys. It's been a long one. Um, and uh, yeah, it's been, a, it's been a long and a tiring one, put it like that. It's It's been a... We haven't made much progress. We've lost an actual... We've lost the battle, but we have made peace with a lot of nations. We're going to have to go and deal with Poland. If we can beat this army, we could actually go and take Poznan. If we wanted to. It's, that's an option. But then it obviously brings in like Pomerania up here as well. So, I mean, that brings more problems of its own. Um, And we've also got issues in the south. So, we possibly might not be able to do that. We may just put out the fire. And then go back down south. Frankfurt's garrison is... Okay, it's living. Put it like that. It's just about surviving. Um, I, yeah, also should, we should probably look to see whether we need to do these decrees again. We can't do decrees. We have five more turns. I was active for five more turns anyway. Uh, Prince Electors still don't like us. Imperial authority is through the roof. 
Um, but we can't do anything with it because the electors don't like us. Uh, Strauss yeah, I'm not surprised that somehow it doesn't like me. Oh, it's not liking me because it's being sieged. But anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, please remember to leave a like, subscribe if you're around here, and leave a comment to show your support. Thank you again for all the support, uh, like on this series. Keep it up, guys. And until next time, Legionnaires, I will see you in the next episode. Bye for now.